Well, hello from Europe. That's right. I have left Africa and now I'm in Athens, Greece. And this is going to be the first country in Europe I visit over the next three months. Uh, I should say the first country in the European Union. And then I've got another month exploring non-European Union countries. But uh, really excited to be here. It's going to kind of like Carthage in Tunis, uh, the vlogs before this one. It's kind of like a warm up for what I'm about to see over the next few weeks with all the history. Um, yeah, I mean, there's so much to see in Athens. Uh, Granted, this is my second day in Athens. Yesterday, I had a lot of work to do. Um, so yeah, I was getting caught up on emails, doing some editing I needed to get done. Uh, but I walked around, I'm staying about a half mile from the Acropolis, and that's what I'm gonna go see today, uh, among many other things. Uh, and the Acropolis is like the big hill inside of Athens. And that's where, you know, there's the, there's a museum nearby, which I'm gonna go to first so I can learn a lot. Um, but the Acropolis is like the Parthenon, the Temple of Athena, Nike, and a bunch of other stuff. And it's supposed to be one of the best viewpoints for all around Athens. Um, you know, there's some mountains around that you can go up, but this is in the center of the city. Should be really cool. Um, yeah, so go to the Acropolis Museum, then the Acropolis, um, you know, see the Parthenon, all that stuff. And then I'm doing something that I love to do. I love to do free walking tours because you can learn so much. They're free, which is great for a budget guy like me. Um, but you know, you always throw them some money at the end, depending on how much information they give. And that should last about like two and a half to three hours, I believe. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna go check out the museum, get something to eat, and then start this tour. So let's get the day started, because it's about like 9, 9.30 right now. Um, so yeah, really trying to see everything I can today, and I'll be able to walk to everything today. So let's get it started. Alright, so the Acropolis, that was so cool. The museum was really cool. I wish I could have filmed a little bit more inside and showing you guys all the really cool ruins they've got. Um, but now I'm at Hadrian's Gate and we're about to start the free walking tour with Athens Free Walking Tours. Uh, really excited to learn more of the stuff I've been walking around because there's so much history. You're just walking around the street and you're like, oh look, there's something old. So 
These people should be able to fill in all those blanks that are in my mind. So let's get it started. Just to give you a clue, it has 25 rooms inside. Here in Greece, we only use it for uh, exhibitions, conferences, and all kind of public relations stuff. So, it is open to public, you can rent it. And the couple from India rented it last year. Uh, means beautiful marble. So it's, its name is Kalimarmaron Stadium. You may have also heard it by the name Panathinaik or Olympic Stadium. There are other names we like to call the stadium. Okay. Second thing, here we host all the Olympic torches from all around the world from the Olympic Games. Only one is missing, later on I will let you know what, uh, which country didn't return its torch. And the third and most important thing for me is that this is the original finish line of the marathon. Um, they have to serve every day for, uh, for a total of six hours, so they are standing still for an hour in front of the House of Parliament. Later they go in the barracks for resting for about an hour. So, on their legs you'll get to see socks, woolen socks. They wear two pairs of woolen socks even in the summer. That means they get very hot. They are not allowed to move. You'll get to see some of them pass out from time to time. Okay. Last but not least goes the Tsarukisu. The Tsaruki shoe is the name of the shoe I was referring to earlier. Each shoe weighs approximately one and a half kilos. They have horses underneath, 60 nails, both underneath, and the pom-pom on top. If, you, in case you didn't get to hear, the pom-pom was used to hide sharp knives and all kinds of items. In case they got arrested from the enemy, they would kick their enemies and run away. The, the pom-pom also served another purpose. It was used just to protect the toes from frostbites. The one on our left, the big one. He wanted every single citizen to go to his church. So he lifted the level of the ground above the doors of the other churches so that people would pass by and look down on them. So um, he wanted them to feel intimidated like they were faithful enough. As a matter of fact, this Agora was being built by Julius Caesar himself. He wanted to walk barefoot in the Agora, see what's being selling, talk about stuff and hear everything happening around Athens. As a matter of fact, this place is not for restoration. UNESCO has declined to restore this place, to renovate this place, because more than 50% of its original marble is missing. So I imagine what we get to see now is only the ruins and the remains of the once so well-known Agora. Way before the Roman Agora was being built here, there was the ancient one Agora. The ancient Agora was the one that democracy was founded inside. So if you ever feel like experiencing what was ancient Greece like, if you want to see where um, historical figures like Socrates, like um, don't know, Aristophanes, like uh, Hippocrates, like all those great guys, you get to hear all about, you get to hear about what Plato taught people. That was where he was teaching people, okay? Well, what an awesome day, y'all. So, made it back to my apartment, uh, it's like 11 o'clock now. Uh, went out after our tour ended with our tour guide Vasily and another girl from the tour. You know, we had dinner and just kind of chatted. Uh, great day, getting to see basically all the big highlights of Athens. Uh, super happy, but I am tired and tomorrow is my service day. So I'm at my front door and I will see y'all tomorrow for service day. I hope y'all stick around. I'm working with an amazing group here in Athens. So subscribe and you'll always know when I'm gonna have a new video posted, but I'm gonna put the lens cap on and see y'all tomorrow when I take the lens cap back off.